Hi there guys, so I thought I'd make a very quick video here to show you how to be able to connect to a service running on your server through a domain name without using a reverse proxy. This can be especially useful for you guys who can't run a reverse proxy on your network. Maybe you're using Starlink, you've got carrier grade NAT so you can't actually port forward. Or maybe your ISP just sucks and doesn't let you have incoming traffic on port 443. Whatever the reason, whether it's that or you just don't want open ports on your firewall, a Cloudflare tunnel is a really good alternative. I decided to release this video now, a day or two before my image video, just so all of you guys out there can definitely be able to reverse proxy image and host your own Google Photos alternative. Okay, so what do we need? Well, obviously a domain name. We're going to have to pay for that. But other than that, there's no additional cost at all. I'm going to use GoDaddy here at the top of the list to buy a domain name. They're fairly cheap and probably as good as any other. Now I'll skip the payment bit here, but basically it costs me £12 a year. So after we've bought our domain, we're going to want to link it to a Cloudflare account. And to do that, we're going to need to change the DNS. We're going to want Cloudflare to manage all of our DNS. So in a moment, when we know what, we're going to have to change the name service to point to Cloudflare. So if you don't have a Cloudflare account already, obviously you're going to need to sign up for one. So let's go to Cloudflare now and we'll see how to do that. If you've already got an account, just put your username and password in. If not, click on sign up, pop your email address in here and make a good password as well. And after, of course, click on sign up. So once we've signed up, we can click on to add site. Then we need to pop in our domain name. For me, it's mydomain.uk. And doing this will add the domain to our Cloudflare account. Now here where we choose a plan, we don't need anything special. The free version will do everything we need it to. So just select that and continue. So what Cloudflare is doing now is it's scanning the domain name over at my registrar at GoDaddy, copying all the DNS that's there and then cloning it. So when we point the actual name servers to Cloudflare, the DNS will match what it used to be. Now, this isn't really that important for me because I've just bought a new domain, but if it already had a website or email with it, it would be very important that the DNS is cloned so the transfer of name service is seamless and everything continues to run. Okay then, so Cloudflare's grabbed the DNS so we can click on to continue. Now here Cloudflare shows us the name servers that we need to copy across and give to our registrar. So I'm going to click here to copy the first one. Now I'm going to go back to GoDaddy, click change name servers, and I'm going to click use my own, pop the first one in, then go back over to Cloudflare to grab the second name server and paste that one in as well. Then we just need to save the changes. Name server changes can take up to 24 hours, but normally I find they only take five or 10 minutes. Anyway, with that done, we need to go back to Cloudflare. So now here on Cloudflare, we can just scroll down a little bit and click on to continue. And now you just wait for your domain to become active. Once it is, you're going to see it here. Okay, so the domain's now active. Now, before we do anything, we're going to have to set up some billing for our Cloudflare account before we can use what's called Zero Trust. Now, although we're setting up billing, it doesn't actually cost anything, but there just needs to be some payment method in place. So just click on to billing here and add some sort of payment method. Now, once you've done that, we can go across here to zero trust. Then we click on networks here, tunnels, and here we can click add tunnel. So we're going to use the Cloudflare tunnel here, which by default is selected. So I'm going to click on to next. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it Unraid. After naming it, click save tunnel. And now here, we can see choose your environment. Now I'm going to click on Docker here. And what I'm looking for is actually the token at the end here. So I'm going to copy the whole thing by clicking here. And now I'm going to go to my Unraid server. I'm going to go to apps. And here I'm going to type Cloudflare. And what we're looking for here is this container, the Unraid Cloudflare tunnel. So just click on to install. Now there's only one thing we need to add here and that's the Cloudflare token. So I'm going to paste that whole line in that I copied earlier. I'm going to go across here and I'm going to delete the actual docker run command and everything to the left of where you see the token. 
So I'm going to delete all of that. So my token starts with E. So I'm deleting the space in between token and the E as well. So I'm just going to delete that. So there's my Cloudflare Tunnel token. I can click on Apply. That's going to pull down the container and run it. So now I'm going to go back to the Docker tab here. And we can see the container running here. Now it's a good idea to make it auto start. And for this video here, I'm going to make the Cloudflare Tunnel connect here to my image server. So what I need to know basically is the address that this connects on. So for me, that's 10.10.20.200 and port 8080. So I'm going to copy that. Now, if you've got a container that's got multiple ports and you're not sure which port it is, well, just open the web UI and you'll see it up here as part of the URL. OK, so let's go back to Cloudflare. And we can now see that it says the tunnel's connected. So now we can click on next and it's asking for our subdomain here. So I'm going to put pics, I think, and then we need to choose the domain. So just click on the drop down box here and choose your domain. Now, if you've got multiple domains, they'd all be listed here. If you've only got one, well, of course, there's only going to be one. Right. So service type, I'm going to choose HTTP and I'm going to paste now the URL into here. So basically all the information for the routing is done in the Cloudflare web GUI. So it's super easy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on save tunnel and we can see the tunnel name on RAID. It's created, it's healthy, it's been up for three minutes. So now if I click onto the tunnel name, we can see some info about it here. So let's open a new tab, pop the domain name into the browser and we can see we're straight into image. Now if you notice at the top here, it basically says the connection's not secure. Now that's because I didn't type HTTPS and then colon forward slash forward slash and the name of my domain. Had I done that, then the padlock would be here. Now it would be nice if we could have it always forced through HTTPS. And yep, we can do that. Go back to the Cloudflare tunnel page. So now we want to go back to the main page away from zero trust. Click onto our domain name now we want to go on to SSL TLS here and then here I'm going to go to edge certificates then we just need to scroll down here and we need to check this here always use HTTPS now with that done if I open up a new tab and again I type pics.my-domain.uk it's directed through to be HTTPS okay so one more thing I want to show you now the Cloudflare tunnel is running here but on my other server here I've got a Nextcloud container running and you can see this is on a different IP. Now Nextcloud by default, if we have a look at the configuration here, it actually connects by HTTPS. So when that's the case with a Cloudflare tunnel, we need to do something slightly different. So I'm going to grab the IP address again from here, the IP address with the port number on. I'm going to go back to Cloudflare, back to Zero Trust, back to Networks and Tunnels. And I'm going to add another route to this tunnel because you can have multiple things with one tunnel. So again, I'm going to click on public host name. I'm going to add a public host name. And here I'm just going to put Nextcloud. Choose my domain. Now this time it's HTTPS. And I'm going to paste in the URL and port number. Now this is important. I need to click here onto additional settings. And I'm going to go onto TLS this time. And I'm going to enable here the no TLS verify. So I'm going to click that on and I'm going to save the host name. And so now if I go to my domain, then we can see we're straight through to my next cloud through the Cloudflare tunnel. OK, so that's how to set up and run a Cloudflare tunnel, a great alternative to a reverse proxy. Anyway, guys, keep an eye out in the next day or two for my image videos. Image being a great self hosted Google Photos alternative. So why not set that up? and link it all through this Cloudflare tunnel. Well, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video, but I want to give a really huge thanks to all of my patrons and supporters out there. Thank you so much, guys, for all of your support. Without you guys, I really wouldn't be able to make these videos. Anyway, guys, it's getting late here and it's time for me to go. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good. And I'll catch you in the next video.